All right, guys, as of Wednesday, February 24th, it looks like Lightning Rod is back. The iBox installation is complete. They're testing it. They let us see it. And uh, let's just listen to Pete and uh, Eugene, the president of Dollywood, go, well, just a few minutes, we caught them talking about Dollywood and the whole process and what we can expect for the 2021 season. And it's one that wasn't operating uh, as consistently as we wanted it to. So we went to work together. He's a, I don't know if anyone realizes it, but he's a real coaster geek. I mean, he is, he's phenomenal, you know, to be responsible for marketing all of these attractions because he's really into it. And Pete and I worked with, uh, re-engineering, you know, the type of track that's being used, you know, on Lightning Rod. And it went to a, a new type of engineering called iBox track. And you'll you'll notice this if you take a, a look at it, that the track is now uh, wrapped in uh, metal. And it's going to make for a really repeatable experience, very smooth uh, style experience. And one thing I've learned since living in Tennessee, there's big swings in temperature. It goes from really cold to really hot. And go figure, that's not a really good idea for wood to expand and contract, which made for the inconsistency. So we're really, really excited that our transition has, has happened and we'll be ready for open. Yeah, absolutely. So um, for those of you that, that followed this as we built this ride originally, uh, this was, uh, you know, an iconic attraction, as, as Eugene said, but one that uh, was a one of a kind. And uh, I will tell you that I think you can all still feel that that's the same. Uh, the things you love about Lightning Rod are going to maybe be even a notch better. sounds a little bit different. The speeds are uh, the same. The launch speed and the speed of the, of the trains are uh, the same or a little bit better. Um, but I mean, I think what's most important is for guest comfort, it's gonna be a much more enjoyable ride for our average guests. It's gonna be a smoother ride experience. It's still gonna be as dynamic with the airtime that you're used to and all of that excitement but it's going to feel uh, much more comfortable. And uh, we're excited about it. I mean, I think the other part of it is with the iBox, um, you know, several of the GCI coasters around the world have been uh, transitioned from the topper track to the iBox, and it's moved their operational efficiency from, you know, 60 to 70% operation well into the mid 90s. And that's what we're looking for. We want to make sure that when you come to this park, that this ride is open when you uh, when you come. So we have uh, tr we've retracked two thirds of the track in all of the areas that had the most dynamic action, and uh, there are uh, about it. There's about a third of the track that uh, uh, maybe a little less dynamic that still have the topper track on it. And if you want to see a real good transition, as you come out of uh, this uh, trick here at the end and going right into the brake run, you'll see the joint that's right there between the high box and, uh, and, and, the, uh, and the top of the track. Um, you're not going to know the difference really as you ride it, um, but uh, it's going to uh, it's going to be a much more uh, pleasant and uh, consistent ride. So. So we have a quick And there you have it. With that, I'll leave you guys. And I've got some more Dollywood videos lined up. Big thanks to the PR team for letting us come out on Wednesday and get some of this construction footage. And I hope you guys will come back and check out some more of that mischief we got in and kind of what they're planning and what they're doing. I'll have those videos ready soon. And I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.